Well, let's get our next question here, Jim. This was sent to Corny Drive Through at gmail.com from John Smirka in Masontown, West Virginia. Oh, so he's smirking at us, eh? I remember several years ago, Vince taking part in a question and answer panel with fans on the WWE Network. He was asked what his favorite style of wrestling was, and his answer shocked me. He said he could watch Fit Finley and William Regal wrestle all day. Is this true, or was he ribbing the fans? If it's true, then why have we endured so much crap wrestling over the years? I think that, I, first of all, who do you say, Fit and who? Uh, William Regal. Fit and Regal. I don't know that he's ever sat and watched them wrestle all day. If they, if he booked the match in his company, he watched that, but I don't know if he watched it more than once. I think that's something that Vince either would like to be true. That's why he said it or wants people to think that it's true, which is why he said it. But if you asked him to elaborate, he'd probably say, but that's just for folks like us that like the true sport of wrestling. But it, of course it won't sell. Or something like that. That's what he'd follow it up with. So, no, it's that is totally not the kind of wrestling that he's always had the vision of. But in in his mind at that point, that was the answer that he wanted to give that, like I said, for either the, the he wants it to be true, that, that that's, that's the kind of wrestling that deep down he really likes, but of course he sees that he could never sell it. So that's why he has to make all these concessions. Or he thought that that was the answer that sounded best to, to the audience that he had. The style of wrestling that WWE produces, do you think it's the style of wrestling Vince likes or just the style of wrestling that he truly believes would do the best business wise? Well, see both. He just, he doesn't want to admit it as far, especially to an audience of hardcore fans. Cause who else is going to be on the network? Right. This is not just a guy down at the mall that just wants to see the fucking Austin and the beer truck. So, of course, they want to hear him say that. But I think he would like that to be true, that he, you know, really likes that, you know. And and it it comes back to him having the, you know, the genetic jackhammer, being having the balls of steel, being a, you know, man's man. He would almost say it like reverently. When he, oh, I remember when I was a kid and you'd watch so-and-so and he'd, taken he'd shoot the half that's a vince expression also like shoot a half nelson to turn the guy over to pin him it's an amateur wrestling thing he'd shoot the half and he'd you know, hook the guy and do this and do that but he never made any attempt at promoting wrestling anything like that even when he was when his father was still alive and still the head of the company and he was an announcer they weren't promoting the, the wwwf had some of the the hokiest wrestling in some cases uh, in the country before Vince came, Vince Jr. came along and got in charge. So they never promoted that, but it is what it is. Your time around Vince, was there ever a match that he raved about? I mean, was there ever something that you watched and you said, wow, Vince really loves this. This may be his favorite match. Um no he never i mean every once in a while he might recall or bring up a match from the past it wouldn't be in the context of wow i remember that as being a great match it would be in the context of that of of the business aspect of that match or you know something we did there that would could might work similarly here or this drew that amount, but not just, wow, that was a great match that I watched as a fan and really enjoyed it. And it's not applicable to what we're talking about here, but golly, I really liked it. No, you never, you know, well, not that, but just, uh, and he also, he liked matches at the time he saw them. He would always praise guys. If they had a good match on pay-per-view, he'd never see that match again. He wouldn't, unless it was for some type of tele television production, I can't imagine that there's ever a match that Vince has gone back and watched again just to see it. It would have to, if he sees something back from the past, it's because of a television or video project that they're working on. So it's not like he ever said, I've, I've said he absolutely, and this has been borne out other places, and he's told other people this, that they're now revealing in these interviews. He never watched anybody else's wrestling but his own 
and he never really rewatched his own except for work. And then, you know, he had a, his writing team. We would go through the shows and pick out, you know, things that needed to be VTR'd or just write in the format package. And the folks at the studio would take care of recapping in a minute and a half what went on in that particular segment. So, you know, he's seeing it as it's going out on television is the only time he's ever seen anything again. So he puts guys matches over, but that's at that point. Do you think Vince is a fan of wrestling? No, he's a fan of, of selling tickets to wrestling. And, and he, remember the quote in one of Bill Apter's magazines in 1986, when he actually did a legitimate interview with, uh, with Vince and Larry said, King. I, it was a Larry King interview. It was that. the Larry King interview. It was there, but it was a, a legitimate interview transcript. And he said, I want to be the Walt Disney of wrestling. And that's what, you know, it, Walt Disney didn't have the most realistic mice, but they, they sure made the most money off of them. So he, he's always been about selling the sizzle, not the steak. But they also don't break kayfabe. Once you enter the world of Walt Disney world. Well, that's true. You know, you can tackle one of those fucking mice and kick the shit out of him. He won't take his fucking head off. I don't know if they still do it, but for years when they hire an executive or a senior executive, they spent a day in Disney World in one of the outfits. So they understood what that was like. <laughs> I'd, I'd, I'd have to make sure I got that job first before I put that. 